Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to draw a snowflake using Procreate. So you'll set up a new page in Procreate and then you'll go to the gears and under drawing guide you'll turn it on and select symmetry and under options we'll set it to radial. This will turn on assisted drawing and it will help you know where to draw your stuff and see everything repeated so it makes life real simple. You can adjust the color of your guides so that way you can see it. You can adjust the opacity of the, the lines of the guides and the thickness. And once you get that set, then you just select your brush. We're using under the sketching brush, the Derwent brush. That one has a nice range of light and dark in it. And let's get started. Drawing along the guides little at a time, you slowly build up the shape of the base lines where you will eventually branch out some uh, frosted crystals. They basically look like little branches of, um, they look like branches. If you've ever looked at a microscopic photo of a snowflake, you'll see that the crystals are really very small and they do kind of resemble branches. So slowly you make your little shapes and every snowflake is different. So you just remember that every time you make one, you can just make different snowflakes. And what's nice about Procreate is that everything you do is on a separate layer. So if you have a snowflake on a layer separate from the background, you can then export it when you're done and you can use it in a lot of different projects of whatever you choose to do. So I, I keep my brush on the same size throughout. I keep it set uh, all the way up. It's, it's the largest size and it's at 100% opacity. And as you can see, the Derwent brush, it still gives you the extra shades of gray in between. So it feels a little bit more realistic. It's great for sketching. I like using it for sketching. So you just keep building on the design you have until you're happy with the snowflake that you end up with. Try to keep your shapes as organic as possible. So this way you end up with the most natural result. And there we have it. There's the snowflake. So once you're done with your snowflake, you would make sure that you turn off your background layer and then you go under the gears and select PNG to export it. And from there you save the image and that will save it to your camera roll. And you could use that in any of your projects. Enjoy making snowflakes. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time.